This was a huge case. Yeah. The execution of rookie officer Edward Byrne changed policing in New York City during the crack epidemic. Scott Cobb is the first of four men convicted in the brazen murder to win release after 34 years. He did 34 years and all he did was drive the car. He didn't kill the cop. Scott Cobb was part of a stunning conspiracy to kill an NYPD officer to send a message from the crack cocaine lords of South Jamaica, Queens, on February 26, 1988. That all here, pow, 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 four shots. Officer Edward Byrne, just 22, was actually killed by five bullets to his head less than a week after his birthday. He was guarding the home of a family that had been firebombed. The hit ordered by jailed drug lieutenant Howard Pappy Mason, who paid four members of his crack gang $8,000 to carry out the execution. Six months later, the FBI and NYPD took down the family crack empire of Lorenzo Fat Cat Nichols, taking his mother and this sister into custody. What did you say to the police when they came in? Kiss my yeah. The feds say they want to break your family's control of the drug trade. Hey. Scott Cobb very quickly made a deal to cooperate with the feds. I'm willing to go on stand. Doing his state time in federal protective custody. Cobb and his three accomplices were convicted before a new state law was put on the books, which calls for life without parole if someone is convicted of first degree murder in the killing of a police officer. That meant, starting in 2012, Burns' family went before the parole board every two years to plead for the four men's continued incarceration. Burns' older brother, Larry, led the charge and talked about his mother and his late father, Matt, in 2016. He died with the fear that someday these people would be released from prison and I'm determined to see that that doesn't happen. But Larry Byrne, a former NYPD deputy commissioner, died in 2020, during a time when aging convicted cop killers were getting released from prison the Police Benevolent Association told us it's tracked the release of 37 police killers since 2017. We need the help of the people of this city to say no more, no more cop killers back on the streets. I can tell you that Byrne family is devastated by this news. And while South Jamaica residents remember the crime, they note Scott Cobb, now 60, served more than three decades behind bars. I think he did his time. And he was young, true. Why he only got out and the rest of them didn't. Now, one of the other convicted killers, Philip Copeland, is up for parole next month. New protocols used by many parole commissioners are looking at the inmate's record in prison instead of solely focusing on the original crime.